Hello everyone, welcome back to the session of Material Science. Myself Rahul Mane, I am working as Assistant Professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering, KKWAG, Institute of Engineering Education and Research, Nasik. Today I will discuss Unit Number 5 that is Conducting Materials. Learning Outcome so at the end of this session, learner will be able to find out the factors affecting on resistivity and also properties and applications of different conducting materials. So prerequisites for the sessions are resistivity and conductivity. So these are the some content for the today's lecture that is introduction. Then we will discuss the factors affecting on resistivity. After that electrical conducting materials, then materials of high and low resistivity. After that, materials used for lamp filament, then copper alloys, and after that, conclusion. So, first of all, let's introduce the conducting material with the help of composition, resistance, resistivity, and conductivity of any material. So, first of all, we will discuss the composition of materials. So, we know that every material is composed of an multiple atoms. So, material is made up of an atom, and atom consists of electrons and nucleus okay so this is well known to you again we know that electrons are carrying negative charge while nucleus is having positive charge due to proton and these electrons are attached to the parent atom okay so this is the simple or basic composition of an atom which is having electron and proton now if electrons is loosely bounded with the parent atom then it can be easily detached by the parent atom by the application of external field or external charge means any other field or charge is applied to an atom then loosely bounded electrons will be get detached from a orbit so this motion of electron is called as a current okay so that loosely bounded electron will get transferred and it will have some motion and that motion of electron is known as a current and such current carrying material is called as a conducting material Okay, so current carrying materials are known as a conducting material and if any material is having resistance then we know that the value of resistance R is given by the formula that is R is equal to rho into L by A where rho is nothing but resistivity of the material whereas length of the conductor and A is nothing but area of cross sections. Okay, so based on this we can define the resistance of any material okay so we know that these terms resistance resistivity length and area okay so we again we know that resistivity is a function of temperature and in conducting material it will linearly with temperature and which is given as a simple formula that is nothing but rho t is equal to rho 0 in a bracket 1 plus alpha 0 into T, okay, so that is the basic formula regarding the resistivity of a material. Then conductivity of a material. So obviously the conductivity is nothing but reciprocal of the resistivity and from that we can define the conductivity of any material. Now let's discuss the next point that is factors affecting on the resistivity so here four factors are mentioned which are affecting on the value of resistivity in which first one is temperature second one is cold work third is edge hardening and fourth alloying so first of all i will discuss the effect of temperature on the resistivity so let's consider first case is like that if i am increasing the temperature of any metal or material what will happen the loosely bounded electrons will get detached from the parental atom and that detached electron will help to improve the flow of current and if there is increase in flow of current i will say there is decrease in resistance of that material so that is the first case in which is resistance is go on decreasing okay now in second case i will say if there is increase in temperature of any metal then the electrons starts vibrating and at the same time due to vibration of electrons resistance will go on increasing okay so in second case due to vibration of electrons resistance is go on increasing due to pro due to provision of heat treatment now some metals are those in which at absolute zero temperature their resistance is 
zero means r is equal to zero and if resistance is zero then such materials are known as superconductor and that phenomenon is known as a superconductivity okay so at absolute zero temperature some material is having zero resistance and that phenomenon is known as a superconductivity okay so in first case resistance will go on decreasing in second case will resistance go on increasing and in third case in case of superconductivity is zero means all this there is effect of temperature on a material is depend on different types of metals or material okay so this is the first case or first effect or factor which is affecting on the resistance or resistivity let's talk about the second factor which is affecting on the value of resistivity that is cold work and cold work stands for the process that is adopted during the manufacturing process of a metals okay so while manufacturing the cold work process affect on the value of resistivity so during cold work structural changes occurs in a crystal structure okay so inside the inside changes are crystal structure changes which are occurring in the metal during a cold work process and due to this conductivity of metal changes okay so initial conductivity will be different after the cold work process and higher the change in crystal structure there will be a decrease in conductivity of a metal and if conductivity is decreased the resistivity is higher or resistivity is increasing now third factor that is edge hardening in most times edge hardening causes increase in resistivity of an alloy okay so it increases the resistivity cold work also increases the resistivity and temperature sometimes it may increase and sometimes it may decrease the or but generally it may increase the value of resistivity now fourth factor which is affecting on the value of resistivity that is alloying and alloying is nothing but adding impurity to the pure metal that impurity may be in the form of 0.1% 0.5 10 20% anything okay which will improve the electrical mechanical or chemical property of that metal so addition of such small amount of impurity causes considerable increase in the value of resistivity and due to increase in number of valence electron okay so that is the effect of alloying means in case of alloying resistance or resistivity of material will go on increasing due to edge hardening again the resistance will go on increasing cold work process if there is a higher structural changes will take place that will again lead or increase the value of resistivity and in some metal due to vibration of electron as that metals are heated vibration takes place and resistance or resistivity will go on increasing okay so these are the different four factors which are affecting on the value of resistivity that is nothing but temperature cold work edge hardening and alloying now next here we will discuss the general properties of any conducting material means in general properties and then we will see one by one example of conducting material and again we will discuss the specific property to that material okay so if here in general i will discuss the properties of any conducting material so first of all i will classify that property as a electrical property so while talking about the electrical property of that material that is conductivity resistivity and resistance temperature coefficient of that material okay so if here i am talking about the properties of conductor so conductivity should be high whereas resistivity should be low and temperature coefficient of the material that we will discuss about the particular material okay next the mechanical property for any conductor or conducting material so first is high mechanical strength so any conducting material should have high mechanical strength it should be non corrosive in nature okay so this is the general property of any conducting material that it should not corrode due to moisture content or any other environmental changes as well as it should have high mechanical strength okay now next point it should be ductile in nature okay so what is ductile or ductility that is ability of material to stretch thin when tensile stress is applied okay so thin or we can draw thin wires from a material that is nothing but a ductility property of any material now next mechanical property is malleability means that material should be malleable in nature now what is malleable 
formation of thin sheets that can be easily formed from the material okay so thin sheets can be formed from any material so that is the malleability property and that material or any conducting material should be malleable in nature now next mechanical property for any conducting material is that it should be easy to fabricate also it should have low resistance at soldering and welding point okay again it should be durable means its lifespan should be more and the cost of that material should be low okay so these are the some mechanical properties and here i have mentioned some electrical properties that is conductivity resistivity and resistance temperature coefficient whereas while discussing the mechanical property you can explain about the its mechanical strength its corrosive nature its ductility property malleability property okay or whether it is easy or hard to fabricate and its resistance okay so that should be low at a shouldering as well as welding point again you can discuss its ductility uh, sorry durability property and its cost okay so these are the in general properties for any good conducting material so next point is electrical classification of material so depending on the current carrying capacity of a material that materials are classified as a conductor insulator and semiconductor okay so already we have seen the insulator part in previous unit that is papers and resins so where now in this unit we will discuss about the conducting material that may be copper aluminum or any other materials okay now consider the different electrical conducting material so first of all here i will consider the copper and in short i have mentioned the properties of copper so we can take the reference of this word and we can explain about the properties of copper material so first of all when i am trying to say about the color then copper is having reddish brown in color again copper is having excellent electrical and thermal conductivity properties and we know that copper is more sensitive to the impurities means addition of small amount of another material inside a copper that will increase the resistance of coppers okay again copper is having excellent soldering and welding properties it is having high tensile strength and which is varying from 3 to 4.8 tons per centimeter square its resistance changes with the temperature and its temperature coefficient of resistance is large and which is approximately 0.0412 per degree centigrade it is having higher heat dissipation capacity as compared to the aluminum its melting point is 1100 degree centigrade whereas its boiling point is 2600 degree centigrade so its value of resistivity is 1.682 micro ohm centimeter at 20 degree celsius and its specific gravity is near about 8.9 so what is specific gravity it is a density of a given material to the reference material okay so these are the some properties of copper material now we will talk about the applications of copper material so copper material is used in electrical wires cables or in designing winding of the transformers or machines again copper is used in electromagnets or in pcb boards whereas again copper may used in electrical relay bus bar and switches now discuss the next conducting material that is aluminum here i will discuss the properties and applications of aluminum material so first of all while talking about the color the we know that the aluminum material is having silverly white color again its electrical conductivity is high but less than that of the copper material again thermal conductivity is also high but again which is less than that of the copper material it is having less mechanical strength as compared to the copper and due to its brittleness nature the aluminum material cannot be twisted uh, again likewise in case of uh, aluminum the same it is again sensitive to the addition of impurity and which will increase the resistance of the aluminum material now the aluminum material is having very poor performance in shouldering and welding means it cannot be shouldered or welded 
Now the aluminum material is having excellent resistive to the corrosion property means they, these materials cannot be corroded easily. Again there is effect of temperature on the value of resistance and the value of uh, the temperature value of temperature coefficient is near about 0.0412 per degree Celsius. Again this material is having very good heat dissipation property which is having melting point near about 660 whereas its boiling point is near about 1820 degree Celsius. The resistivity of aluminum material is 2.669 micro ohm centimeter at 20 degree Celsius. So these are the some properties of aluminum material. So application, so generally aluminum material is used in transmission line again or in ACSR conductors. Aluminum conductors, steel reinforcement conductors that is ACSR conductors. Again aluminum material is used in bus bars which are used in substations or in short transformers or in electronic kit and transistors. Again aluminum material is used in street lightning poles or in some household appliances. So these are the some general applications of aluminum material. Next point that is materials of high and low resistivity. So such the material which is having high or low value of resistivity they are used in precision electrical measurements that is potentiometer okay or in all types of rheostat and control devices that is Eureka or in some heating devices that is in nichrome and canthal okay so we can use such materials in different applications in potentiometer Eureka nichrome or canthal okay likewise for different applications we can use the different materials now moving towards the next material which is of high resistive alloy that is constanton or eureka the they these are the alloys of copper and nickel in which copper is having 60 percent proportion whereas nickel is having 40 percent proportion the color of constanton is a silver white in nature like that of aluminium and next they have longer life as compared to other materials and they are also they are having high elongation capacity the resistivity of constantan material is near about 4.9 micro ohm centimeter at 20 degree celsius again some remaining properties for the constantan materials are they are very stable at high working temperature the again they are having large temperature coefficient of resistance the melting point of the constantan is 1300 degree celsius whereas the working temperature for the constantan material is 500 degree celsius the tensile strength of constantan material is 52 kg per mm square whereas specific weight of constantan material is 8.92 gram per centimeter square the applications of constantan materials are they are used in making rheostat coils and again in another control devices and also they are used in different types of thermocouples. Next high resistive material is nichrome. Again the nichrome is an alloy of nickel which is varying from 75 to 80 percent, chromium which is varying from 20 to 25 percent and manganin which is having proportion of 1.5 percent approximately and addition of some other impurities like ferrous or any other material so all these combinations will lead to the formation of nichrome material so here some general properties of the nichrome materials are it is silver in color the melting point of nichrome material is near about 1350 degree celsius the resistivity of nichrome material is 6.9 into 10 raised to minus 6 ohm centimeter at 20 degree celsius the temperature coefficient of resistance is low in case of nichrome material and it is again having resistance to corrosion okay so likewise in case of aluminium material that is also having resistance to corrosion in the similar way the nichrome material is also resistant to the corrosion its tensile strength is near about 75 kilogram per mm square properties the applications so the nichrome material is used in making glass to metal seals again they are used in x-ray tubes and nichro material is also used in light bulb and crt 
So conclusion for the sessions are we have seen the different factors affecting on the resistivity that is temperature, cold work, age hardening and alloying process and also the properties and applications of conducting material that is copper and aluminium and also we have seen the some high resistive alloys or material that is constantin or eureka and nichrome. Thank you.